you can have reference. In the adjoining figure, segment AB and segment BC. So this symbol is actually uh, indicates congruency. So here, it is like that. So AB, segment AB congruent with segment BC and segment AD, again, this is for congruent congruent with segment CD which I already mentioned in my figure with identical marks AD is congruent with CD and uh, AB is congruent with BC we need to prove that triangle ABD and triangle uh, is congruent we know this is congruent mark is congruent with triangle BCD so we need to prove this how we can do that first i'll write both the triangles in the given figure in triangle a b d this is half of your figure which is a triangle and triangle c b d which is second half of the given figure again a triangle so we're going to see which two corresponding uh, components of these two triangles are congruent? Now, here AB is congruent with segment CB, which is already given. Besides, Segment AD is congruent with segment CD. Again, this is given. Look, in your figure, it is already mentioned that AD is equal with uh, AD is equal with CD, and AB is equal with BC. So we are just taking these information in our solution. But we know that in order to prove that two triangles are congruent, we need at least three corresponding components as congruent and equal. Then only we can say that the, the given triangles are semi congruent. So these three, these three, these three set of uh, these three com uh, corresponding components can be uh, can be found in your given figure itself. Out of three, two are already given, which we have already mentioned. So we need to find out one more corresponding component. So in that case, I can say segment BD. Uh, you can track this triangle in your figure a b d so you will find out b d is one of the correspond one of the side in triangle a b d which i can say is congruent with segment again b d because in other triangle c b d again we have b d so segment b d why they are congruent because they are, this is common side in both the triangle. So you need to write common side. Now, as we know, in order to prove that two triangles are congruent, we need three set of co corresponding components as congruent. And here we have those three. One pair of corresponding side, other pair of corresponding side and third pair of corresponding sides. So here we have three pair of corresponding sides as congruent. So you can say therefore, triangle ABD.
is congruent with triangle CBD. Test is side, side, side test. Because we prove and we have all three corresponding sides as congruent and equal. So both the triangles can be called congruent by uh, side, side, side test. And this is all about for this question. This question was about to prove that the given triangle ABD and CBD are congruent. So this way you can prove that these two triangles are congruent. Hope it is clear to everybody. This is your question number 6, last question of this exercise. In the figure 3.25, so this is the given figure, the corresponding figure is given along with this question, where angle P, so we talking about this angle, this is angle P, so this angle P is actually congruent with angle R. Segment PQ is congruent with segment QR. So this is PQ and this is QR. So PQ and QR are congruent. Then prove that triangle PQT is congruent with triangle RQD. So this is all about your question. Now again it is same as question number 5. In question number 5 two triangles were given where one side of the triangle both the triangle were common and equal. Similarly we have another figure in question number 6 where two triangles are merged together. And if I say that there is an angle which is common in both the triangle and that angle can be taken as common angle for both the triangles. As third component to prove that the given triangles are congruent. So here I can say in triangle We have two triangle in triangle PQT and triangle RQS. In these two triangles, first is angle P, which is congruent with angle Q, angle R. This is given information. So this is P, Q and this is QR and these two sides are congruent. Second set of information. So we will mention that the PQ is congruent with RQ. Again it is given. So one pair of corresponding angle is congruent, one pair of corresponding side is congruent. So we have two corresponding components as congruent. We need one more pair of corresponding either angle or side as congruent to prove that those two triangles are congruent. So I can take this one this angle Q is actually common angle in both the triangle. So here you can say angle, so I am taking a triangle PQT, so in triangle PQT, PQT is an angle which is congruent and equal as angle RQT in other triangle, RQS. Why they are equal? Because they are common angle. 
in both the triangle. So this part is only new which you need to determine or identify for your solution. Rest two are already given in your question. Angle P congruent with angle R, side PQ congruent with RQ. So these are the information which are already provided in your question and you don't need to do anything uh, for those two uh, components. You just need to identify this common angle between both the triangles. Once I get those two common angles, now I am in a position to say that the given triangles are congruent because we have three set of corresponding components. One, two corresponding angles are congruent uh, including one corresponding pair of sides that is PQ congruent with QR. So here I will say therefore triangle PQT is congruent with triangle RQS. Reason is angle side angle this. Look at this. We prove this side first, this side, and then this angle, and this angle in triangle PQT. Same way in triangle RQS. We took this side, this side and these two angles. So it's like angle, side, angle. Angle, side, angle. Like that. So here, these two triangles are congruent by side angle, side test. So that is all about this question and this is your solution. You can take down this solution.